到沙利 ，in your relations, you know, with your work, with your encounter with the church, is because I heard you went to Ireland and Macau. So, is there something there that you choose to be there? I never choose. Uh -huh. So, why, why were you there? I just myself. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, how would come you find yourself in Ireland? What you're doing there? Do you learn something from there by staying for how many months? You know. Yeah. Um, um, I resigned from my uh, uh, teaching school uh, three years, exactly three years mm -hmm. ago. Uh, uh, that is after three years after my husband passed away. Okay. And and uh, I still remember when I handed in my resignation letter to my school principal mm -hmm. in late Ma uh, in late April. He, she asked me, "Sally, where are you heading?" Okay. I said, "I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I just just want to explore." What is the will of God? Mm -hmm. um, because I have prepared myself uh, to be to have an early retirement. Because uh, previously, my husband's the, the health of my husband is is uh, uh, worsening, and I, I decided to have the early retirement so that I could have more time to take to be care. with him or yes. to take care of him. But he passed away much earlier than we expect, okay. and then after three years, I still have the mind of early retired, and. And the school principal said that, oh, Sally, your problem is no more problem because yeah. your, your husband has passed away, so you ha you can just uh, concentrate on the on the teaching. Especially, I'm I'm the coordinator of the uh, the subject of religious education and also the co coordinator of the religious formation team of the mm -hmm. school. Okay. So I. I could have a lot of chances to do the evangelizing programs or uh, faith formation for the school, uh, uh, for the school students and also the Catholic teachers, etc. But I said that, mm, but I, there would be a, another page of my life because I'm so free. My husband passed away, and we didn't have any children. Okay. Um, so it is, it is not. Uh, uh, everybody can have this this situation. Mm -hmm. Some people would like to do much more for the church, but they have family ties. Yes. But I do not have family ties. Mm -hmm. So I said that maybe I could still keep on the plan of the early retirement so that I can devote much more time, full-time voluntary work for the church. Mm -hmm. And it is my first job and also my last job. Okay. I have only one job <laughs> in my life, and yes, that is that yes. school. Uh -huh. So uh, I really enjoy teaching, especially uh, I thank God that in my career, I could earn my living, and also I could evangelize mm -hmm. so freely. Yes. So that's really a great blessing for me. So I, I really want to do much more for him because I really think that it is my prime time of my life. I have to seize these few years to to do much more and to explore whether uh, lay missionary is is it the uh, the path that I should take, because I, I could go anywhere. So I, I, I just told my my uh, school principal like that when I handed in the resignation letter, and I start uh, exploring mm -hmm. for some organization, and then I got a chance to go to uh, the headquarter in of the Legion of Mary in Ireland, that mm -hmm. is in Dublin, with okay. uh, a few Legion friends in October. Uh, they, they went there in October, and it, it so happened that I have already resigned, then I could join them. If I was still teaching, there's no it. chance for me yes. leaving my school in October. Mm -hmm. So uh, they stay for one week, but I stay for one month, so that I could have more Legion experience, exposure in, in, the, in Dublin. So that's the chance that I, I uh, get familiar with the, con uh, the headquarter. Uh, I went with the uh, members to have different kind of evangelizing work in, in Dublin because it's um, quite different from Hong Kong because they, they can still do the door-to-door uh, -door visit. Mm -hmm. But in Hong Kong, because of the high-rise building, we you can't cannot. have the door-to-door -door visit anymore. Okay. So most of my time in Dublin is doing the door-to-door -door visit. And, uh, and I feel that is very, very um, uh, meaningful because um, in Ireland, although it is a Catholic country, but uh, the church attendees are very low. Few, yes. Very few people attending the Sunday Mass, even mm. the Sunday Mass. Yes. Most of them are the, are the elderly. Mm -hmm. I think 
three or fourth generation of the of the Catholics has been walk away from the church. Mm -hmm. So they, they don't come to the church. So if there is no no parishioners or legionaries like us to knock on their door, so most of the the time, the whole year, they never think of God. Mm -hmm. But because of the legionaries knock on their door, so uh, so they have a, still a few minutes to, to have, listen to have a chance to think about talk, to to think about God, mm -hmm. uh, to be invited to to come back to church mm -hmm. or to be encouraged to have. Uh, prayer again mm -hmm. and to have um, strength to uh, live their life although their the life is getting harder and harder in this modern world mm -hmm. so I think it's very very uh, uh, meaningful for me to to walk every day with the members different uh, different presidium we call it presidium to to knock on the doors like that and we also have the uh, street evangelizing contact okay. in the in the um, uh, tourist center. Yeah, yeah. We, we do like that. Mm -hmm. And this kind of experience is very enriching for me because um, you have every chance to to walk into the life of from different walks of life. You never expect who who answer your call, yes. answer the, the door. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's a, a elderly people, mm -hmm. sometimes it's a, a young adult. Mm -hmm. And some young adults say that we don't believe in God, God anymore. anymore. Some, was, some elderly, some middle-aged men will say that uh, there are so many scandals in the church, especially in Ireland. Mm -hmm. We, that's enough for right, for me. Mm. I don't need the church. Sometimes mm. they will say like that, mm -hmm. and you have to 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 think about that because they have their their reason. That is not um, maybe you could say that the, the reason is not strong, but there's still a reason for them mm -hmm. for not getting back to the church. Mm -hmm. And you have to think. Yes, what do you think, as Sally? What do you think if that's happen? That's that's the real happening in the church. Mm -hmm. Do you do you walk away from the church? again like that. Mm -hmm. So it is also very, very uh, inspiring for me, not only to talk to others, uh, it seems that I, I try to uh, convey, to uh, pass some message to them. Just like Anthony said, uh, every time when you encounter somebody's life with, uh, in faith, that actually Jesus is at, at that point talking to you at the same time. Mm -hmm. And for these three years, I after leaving the school doing the, uh, the uh, apostolate work other than in Hong Kong, it's also another milestone for me. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I thank God uh, he grants me the chance because the first attempt is in the year of faith. Mm -hmm. I still remember I used the, I used the mm -hmm. smartphone. <laughs> I started to use the smartphone because yes. I leave Hong Kong and I have to keep in contact with yes. my family. So uh, when I was in the airport, I, I, I left a line in, my, in the Facebook and say in Chinese, saying, um, with faith that I can fly and I'm getting on, on, on a flight. Yeah, I take flight and then with faith in him, I can fly uh, in the year of faith. Mm -hmm. yep. and. And that is that experience is very important for me because it is the first time for me to leave Hong Kong for such a long time. It's a half year service, and I have to do evangelizing work in the world of the Westerners, and I do not have very fluent English because I am a Chinese language teacher. Yes. I teach religious education in. In Chinese, in Cantonese, mm -hmm. so it is really a, a great challenge for me. I'm not a scholar like like Dr. Anthony. Mm -hmm. I I read the Chinese Bible every day. Okay. I attend the Chinese Mass. Okay. I have the Chinese prayer of the Legion of Mary. So even for the for the for the Legion meeting, I have to change the languages to change uh, to pick up the jargons. So it is really a challenge for me. And it's for the first time that I, I was alone in, in a foreign country without my husband. The courage that you have and your faith, when you write that in your smart that you can fly with your faith, I think that sealed your mission, you know. But we will continue. Ang gada po namin discussion sa pagbabalik po ng Power Tonight with Elvira.